What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here today. To talk about when we could potentially be getting our first teaser. Now, if any of you are looking at this image and having any nightmares, <laughs> that's because you also watched my Scream 5 videos and you recall CinemaCon last year was when a lot of us thought we were going to be seeing some footage from Scream 5 and we ended up just getting a lot of Clifford and you know how that whole thing when everyone was in an uproar on Twitter. Uh, fun times. So with Halloween ends as you see here on your screen there is going to be a panel with universal and focus features inviting you to a special presentation featuring footage from their upcoming slate of films this will be held from 4 15 p.m to 6 30 p.m and this is going to be taking place on april 27th i believe was the date for the CinemaCon panel i'll leave a link to it in the description but uh basically what they're going to be doing is yes going over their upcoming slate of films and going off of the fact that jason blum has already stated that they'll have some footage prepared for halloween ends in the coming weeks who's to say that they haven't been able to you know of course take a couple of shots from the movie already while they're in post throw something together really quick that's like a minute long maybe something that's 50 seconds long maybe something along the lines of what they gave us at the end of 2020 when halloween kills had unfortunately got delayed and it wasn't going to remake it for its october 2020 release maybe they'll do something short and quick like that and present that at this panel or they could pull a screen five and not show anything <laughs> so i mean this is the most likely thing that we have to go off of as far as like when we can get our first look at this movie and what they have put together for us for this final chapter in the david gordon green iteration of these latest michael myers movies as far as like what they could show in the teaser uh obviously i think the biggest thing they'll try to show is some type of standoff between Lori and the shape maybe something where you have them standing on opposing sides of a road or something something that kind of just gives you like a big fight feel if they've shot something like that in the movie assuming they could just show sequences shots of them battling it out and ending it on a little bit of a sinister bit of dialogue from Lori or something like that uh, you know, just something that can really, of course, get you excited to not only see the movie, but to now also see more footage for the actual trailer that may come out. I'm predicting this could come out. I could see them doing a trailer either June with Jurassic World, of course, or July with Nope. If I want to say which one I think it could go alongside to, I think it would be nope. Only because of the fact that, you know, July, then you would only have August and September left marketing the movie. And then everyone will rush out to go see it in October. And then, you know, a few short months after that, we'll be right back in theaters with another slasher icon, Ghostface for Scream 6. Don't forget to go buy your tickets when they're available. <laughs> uh, but Halloween ends, yeah, most likely, I'm just guessing, we will have some type of look at the film at CinemaCon later in the month of April on the 27th at that panel even if we don't get it released online sure enough I'm sure we'll see the coverage of it we'll see people talking about what was shown and then maybe shortly after it's going to be released online and then we'll all geek out over it we'll all make our little videos we'll all talk about it we'll all get so excited and then we'll all go out and watch the movie and we'll crap on it and <laughs> you know We'll have fun with the movie still, but I'm hoping this is a good ending for, again, what David Gordon Green has brought to the table. All in all, while I think the Halloween Kills was a step down, I could say that this timeline of movies is, again, in terms of consistency with its creative team and just what they're trying to get told, I think this is one of the most consistent narratives we've had in a long time with this franchise. Uh, and when I say a long time, I'm just honestly acknowledging how many years it's been since the original timeline was touched <laughs> uh, and when i'm saying the original timeline i mean the, the movies associated with the 1978 film uh 20 before 2018 we hadn't had anything with that timeline associated with that movie since 2002 with resurrection i believe yeah because the other movies were rob zombies 2007 2009 films but as far as some other things they could show of course show allison in the teaser show lindsey wallace in the teaser show hawkins maybe even tease your audience into thinking that there's something going on on screen that relates to michael myers dying but of course it's out of context because you have to go watch the movie to see what exactly is this scene pertaining to in the appropriate context for anyone who doesn't think michael myers should die 
Uh, I mean, I'm on this. I'm on that side with you in the sense that I don't think it should be like a clear cut answer. I think you could end the shape, but then do something that honestly speaks to what he has always represented and how he's always just been this mysterious force and how you can portray that on screen again. I believe that Dave McRae has come up with the absolute perfect idea of how to end this with a little voiceover from Dr. Loomis as we're panning away from the scene of carnage that is left over or just panning away from whatever the final shot is. And we hear something from Dr. Loomis who's looking on from beyond. And he says, you think you fooled them, Michael, but not me. And then the movie ends again. David Gray has said this many times in a lot of his videos. Shout out to you, Dave. Uh, but yeah, the teaser showing up at Comic-Con or CinemaCon <laughs> to say I can see it happening. I can see us getting some descriptions of footage from those people in attendance and then everyone again will be online gathering the f gathering what everyone's saying and saying oh what do you think about this what do you think about that oh what does this mean what does that mean um uh, maybe they are saving their casting announcement for this event too honestly because i know i've been making videos about the cast members that have been identified and kind of treating it like jeepers creepers 4 so we'll see how right many of us have been with these people we're saying are or that we think are in the movie maybe they're waiting to reveal the cast at that event maybe that's what they'll reveal when they have this teaser come out and it's just a teaser that reveals the full lineup of the cast with shots of them all in the movie because they haven't revealed many specific names about those that are involved with this project outside of jamie lee curtis Kyle Richards, uh, Andy Matichak, as we know, James Ju, Courtney, David Gordon Green, Danny McBride. But they haven't revealed too many actors like the newbies. We've kind of just been going on Instagram and seeing people who probably shouldn't be confirming their participation, confirming their participation. So maybe we get a teaser like that presented to us at CinemaCon where it's something that's very short and it reveals the full cast of newcomers that are going to be joining Lori, her granddaughter and Lindsay in this final outing against Michael Myers in this David Gordon Green iteration. I think that would be a nice little teaser because we haven't had any casting announcements. So maybe they take advantage of that. They but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i'll link to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video